This is some foam core and this one is black. You can get it in black and white and it's, oh I don't know how thick it is, it's probably about a quarter of an inch thick and I think you can get it in even thicker uh, things, sizes, whatever. The top and the bottom are covered in like a real heavy duty construction paper or something and you just need a craft knife and what I'm doing is I have some photos that I've reduced on my printer and on my computer. This is a 4x6 Kodak paper that I bought at my office supply store and so I just reduced the photo down so that it'll be smaller and then what you do is you put put it on the foam core I'll put it this way and with a pencil you draw around around the outside there are my pencil lines and with the craft knife I start out a little bit further then where this square begins and then I just cut through the top part and then extend it out a little bit farther and then I'm going to go a second time but this time I'm going to push it all the way down to my self hewing mat and go through until I feel it come apart. If you've got a fairly steady hand you can you can do some some shape stuff. Now um, I do have a craft knife that has a I do have a craft knife that has a swivel blade, but it is really short and it won't go th all the way through this stuff like I want. Um, and why I'm not using scissors is because the scissors will will squish it and and kind of make it sort of out of shape. And then there's my piece and then when I stick my photo on then I have a I have a good backing support for my photo alright and this this E6000 I use this stuff I'm, I'm finding that I use it quite a bit especially when I'm going to want to attach something that is not going to come off and is going to have some kind of rough use. So I just smear it on the foam board and then attach my photo or whatever it is that I want to do. I'll, I'll set it aside to dry and it this stuff doesn't take really a long time to dry which is good Alright, now I'm going to make these as push pin things for my daughters uh, that I'll show you in a, in a little bit. And I'm using this E6000 and put a put some on the, I put some on the head of the push pin and then just press it on and it, oh can you see that, it puddles around the head which is a good thing and let this dry this is a birthday gift for my daughter who lives in California and her birthday was October 3rd but I was still out on the road during that time so she said she would be okay if her birthday present was a little late and she as far as I know, it doesn't have very many photos of of us. But and this is from uh, oh, that's stuck out through the back side. Anyway, these are photos from when we had Thanksgiving all together in 2007 at her sister's in Arizona. This was a fun time. So these are these are not only photos. But they're push pins 
so she can put you know whatever she wants to put behind put on here she can put on there the paper that I've used on here is cottage wall stampin up cottage wall and it is discontinued so I'm using the pieces that I have left over from um, some of the other projects that I've that I have done and this is the blossom party die and then I also have um, what what is this this is paper daisies I've used the paper daisies and uh, and mix them up with the blossom party die cut thing and I have buttons and I have flower brads and I have some rhinestone brads mixed in to all of these and the ribbon is certainly celery 5 8 inch satin ribbon um, now I've messed with wire before but I've not done much with beads so um, I needed to have something on there and I wanted her to have her name well, it looked kind of bare so up in this corner I I put a, a flower that I got from a craft store and then some more beads that I've attached onto a quarter inch grain ribbon from Stampin' Up and then I've added some feathers so this is this is my venture into girly land my son-in-law's birthday is tomorrow November 12th and so his birthday present is going to be late this one is for my son-in-law and he is he is really a handy guy and so let me show you the things that I've done I reduced some photos uh, sometimes in in my day job we have to go into truck uh, truck dealerships because we need a truck worked on or something in the mechanics they have these huge tool chests and they've always got a picture of their family or something in there I reduced these down really small so that it looks like uh, he's got them plastered in the lid of his toolbox but what they are are push pins the paper that I've used back here this is thoroughly modern and I've mod podged over the top of this is why it's shiny uh, to try and protect this thing that I made in there and then this side this is also thoroughly modern and I wanted it to look like a pegboard and it's just a polka dot piece of paper now these I had to buy from the craft store and um, they're some stickers or just embellishments and they have uh, pop dot things behind them so I pulled those off and mounted them to the foam core and then I drew where each one of these tools belong so it's a it's a thing to it's a push pin and then I put I put the tool belt that was along with this set up here on the top and then I have nails and screw heads in the corners so I hope he enjoys this this is for his birthday well I hope this gives you some ideas what you can do uh, crafting for gifts okay Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye.